Hi, I wanted to share with you some of the steps and the correspondence that you incur when you're moving or you're porting telephone numbers over to Amazon. So I have a solution which I've implemented a contact center using Amazon Connect, right? So that's Amazon's uh, cloud contact center. Um, and in doing this, we've ported some numbers uh, over before, but there's some additional telephone numbers that we need to port over. Um, so what you see here is the correspondence that I got from um, the support center. The, the first thing that you, you should do is uh, you go to support center, you create a ticket, um, and then within that ticket, they're going to ask for information like the instance, the, the ARN number, um, you know, the account number, some of those things. And I did provide that uh, as well. But one of the things that I had left off is that I didn't provide um, the, the, the telephone bill. They need that telephone bill to verify um, that number uh, before, it, before they move it to the next stage of looking to, to, to port it. So this is the correspondence for that. So as you see here, you know, hello, thank you for contacting AWS uh, Premium Support. My name is uh, Shireen. Obviously, your uh, support person is going to be different, and I'll be working with you on your case today. As I understand, you're reaching back out with your phone bill uh, to provide the phone number that you have requested to be ported. And as you see here, I, I, it has the 24th of August at 2 p.m. So when you make that request, you also need to put in the date that you want that number to be ported over, as well as the specific time. Um, my, the, the service that I'm using this for is Connect. Some people might be using Chime. But on Connect, I also have it um, set up so that when it's ported over, that number will map to a particular um, call flow, right? Uh, so that you know it's, it's up, or, um, so that it's ready and is ready to be used. So that's something that you just want to uh, be able to keep in mind that on that date and that specific time, that's when it's going to be officially cut over, and you should have things in place. Um, so that it does, so that that number doesn't just go into a uh, once once somebody call that number it doesn't just go into a black hole or whatever. Uh, continuing on, it says I've gone ahead and sent the bill you have provided to our internal team by attaching it to the previous uh, ticket. Blah blah blah. However, now we're moving the case forward. I've gone ahead and attached a letter of authorization. So this is the the important part here, right? So they send us a letter of author authorization. You can see here. It, is as an attachment and within that you have to fill out this information so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you this letter of authorization now all right so when you click here you'll get to <clears throat> you'll then have to give me a second you'll get this so you have to save it and then after you save that and and you bring it up this is what you will actually then see. So it says, as the end user subscriber, the undersigned the customer designates AMCS to act as the is authorizing agent to change the customer's current service provider for the following telecommunications services. So AMCS is Amazon Media Communications uh, services LLC and so this is basically Amazon that you're saying now I'm giving you the right to the to the number that I'm gonna be porting over these are three options that you can go ahead and usually select the first one um, here's the request date that you'll enter uh, the date and the time and then you'll enter the telephone numbers in my case I only have a few telephone numbers so this sheet is enough however at the bottom they do provide an, an additional attachment uh, of a spreadsheet so if you have a hundred numbers 300 numbers or whatever that you need to port over um, you can use that sheet there um, but anyway you you enter in your telephone number the billing telephone number that's mapped to it could be the one of the same but sometimes um, the telephone number that you're porting over um, may not be a, the billing telephone number for your uh, for the current organization that you're part of and then the billing account number with the pin uh, this is this pin is optional, uh, but so it says if if it's available, and then you'll put in the current service provider 
and then your customer information. So the name, street address, city, state, zip, and the telephone number, this is the address, this is the contact information for the current customer that has that telephone number, all right? You then go ahead and read this information and then you sign it. Um, once you sign it, you um, can then attach it to your ticket and submit it um, again. All right, so that is it. Um, hope that this was uh, helpful to you. Let me know in the comments uh, if you have any questions. All right, have a great day.